Well, it's cold enough out here today. I'm at uh, Devil's Lake. It's 28 degrees. Super windy, so I'm guessing with the wind chill factor it's about 23. Uh, haven't seen any activity yet, but what I'll do is I'll try out these shark bite gloves. Fishing gloves, very unique design. They have this little divot right here that helps you take them off. So let's see how they work. Stay tuned. Another episode of Lubaka video. The show about fishing, family, food and fun. Where we invite you to do what you love and love what you do. Because life is way too short. guys it's been a minute but we do have our first beautiful brown trout look at those spots amazing fish here about let's say 10 yards out also joint in Rapala and I'm using my little fluga tryon with a silver hawk fenwick the guides are frozen I'm using only six pound Berkeley fluorocarbon and I'm guessing that they're cruising these shallows right here so I'll get back to it let's see what happens This beautiful brown dedicated to Michael from Flyhooks. Bye bye. I got it on a little rooster tail. So that's my second fish. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that is a rainbow. And if it is a rainbow, it doesn't belong here. Oh, definitely a rainbow. So this has got to be an escapee from the floods. There we go. And the white rooster tail. Beautiful. This one's number three. I'm gonna say about 16, 17 maybe. Beautiful rainbow. So this is rainbow number four. I'm gonna dedicate this one to Owen from Most New Fishing Adventures. Probably the best one on the white rooster tail. Right in the current, not very late. I managed to land it. This one will be dedicated to Musky Hans. Crazy. Okay, I'll cut it off so I can try to land it. Well, we ended up with a beautiful two man limit. And that's gonna be a six person dinner. Dandy rainbows. I think we're gonna make them in foil with butter and lemon and they'll be just super yummy. This next step I have all the heads removed. The fish are clean and bled and I have the mud line taken off. So they're ready to get wrapped in butter and lemon, get salted and throw them in the oven. Or if you wanna cook them on the grill, it's your preference. Okay, now that we have the fish half, I'm gonna put them on the two separate trays on the foil and then I'm gonna chop some onions. I got two lemons, one for each tray. I got this fisherman's seafood and a lot of 
garlic salt. You gotta have garlic salt, it's always a good one. Alright, at this point I have them seasoned and garnished. They have onions and lemon on the inside and out. I got a little bit of the real lemon juice. And now I'm gonna add some of this pure Irish butter and they'll be ready for the oven. Starting to set the oven. We're gonna set it on bake. We're gonna start it at 350 so you let it preheat. So here we are. Everything's garnished. I put some chopped parsley. Waiting for the oven to get ready and uh, these are ready to get closed up in the foil and then we'll see you when the fish is ready to taste. We are ready. Let's do a visual first. Vessel, how is it looking? Oh, good. Pretty fancy, huh? It's amazing how pristine it is. Mid November. All you see is the geese. No tourists, no hikers. Super quiet. Pretty amazing. I wish I'd see the splashing trout. The jointed balsa Rapala in fire tiger is good here and a lot of times also the gold black it's already iced over Many times there will be trout cruising this creek and a lot of times there's blue herons that will just grab a 16, 17 inch brown trout and swallow it whole. <laughs> it's crazy to watch. Makes you think what a waste. But not a waste to them, they gotta survive somehow. Oops. Tapped into something for a moment there. Yeah, it is pretty crisp. The guides are freezing. I'm glad I'm not using braid right now because it will be a miserable disappointment. I 
Let's see if I can tease at least one fish into biting. Not one chaser so far here. Actually, I take that back what I said earlier about casting with braid in freezing conditions. This one seems to handle quite alright. What is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 swans. <laughs> That's super cool. The swans are taking off. Where is the black one? Oh, right at the lead. <laughs> Second from the front is the black swan. They sound like they just hit puberty. <laughs> 